I was lucky enough to see Lisa Frankenstein a couple days early. Is it any good? Let's find out right now. Emotionally. Okay. No, don't cry. <gasps> Your tears as well. So bad. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. As I said in the intro, I'll be reviewing Lisa Frankenstein today. This is kind of like the new Valentine's movie for this year, like the only Valentine's movie coming out this year. So look forward to that. But before we get into it, make sure you leave a like, subscribe. The channel helps out a lot. We're on the road to 600 subscribers. I'm going to read you guys a quick plot synopsis just so you know what the movie is about. A misunderstood teenager and a reanimated corpse embark on a murderous journey to find love, happiness, and a few missing body parts. All right, so Lisa Frankenstein is directed by Zelda Williams, who you might know as Robin Williams' daughter. So that's pretty cool. And I, I actually did look at her IMDb. I think this is her first feature length film for like her first big movie. And I will say, I think she did a great job with this movie. Uh, I'm really was surprised with this one because, you know, from the trailers, I wasn't get, I wasn't really watching the trailer and expecting something like spectacular. I thought the trailer looked all right. And there's actually a lot in here that I really did like the whole movie and, you know, the movie movie as a whole actually worked a lot more than the trailer so if you didn't like the trailer a lot I think you'll like the movie a decent bit more because it did actually end up being you know really fun and really good and it has a lot of laugh out loud moments and actually has a lot of heart when it needs to be because you know some movies have a lot of funny moments and they don't take time to get those heartfelt moments going but this movie does take time to get those heartfelt moments going you do have you know some backstory of the characters of Lisa you know she kind of has a sad backstory but you have a lot of funny moments with her her family her friends and this new Frankenstein kind of figure that you do see lurking with her in the beginning of the movie and then in the end it has a through line kind of story but yeah there's a lot of laugh out loud moments in here and it actually is a really good film I was you know I wasn't expecting this to be you know a heavy Valentine's Day hitter when I was looking at the schedule because there wasn't really a you know a big schedule of Valentine's Day movies this year but I think that this one could do pretty good for Valentine's Day I think it's smart that they were released a week before to get some buzz out because I, I think it will get a decent amount of buzz I did see it in the mystery screening for Regal and I think that a lot of people in my theater enjoyed it a lot of people were laughing with it I was laughing with it I thought it was very funny like I said and the costumes and sets in here are actually very impressive. The movie looked very good as it was already really good. Very bright in colors. Everything, you know, popped off the screen. Everything stood out. The costumes especially. And it reminded me a lot of Edward Scissorhands. Not in the story sense. Just in, you know, the set design kind of looks like a make-believe kind of world and you know it has a lot of bright colors it's the pink house and just the costume designs the costumes were off the charts whoever did the costume design for this movie did a great job I'm very impressed with that and the cast here is also great you know you got Catherine Newton in here leading the movie as Lisa Swallows and you know Catherine Newton I think this is kind of a bounce back for her because after Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania I think that she was on kind of a downhill trend because that movie didn't do too much for her. It kind of made her a little bit unlikable for me just because of how they wrote her character, how her character acted. You know, I wanted to get back to that Catherine Newton who didn't, who wasn't afraid to, you know, act crazy, act funny and all that. Like in Freaky, she was great in that. And I think this is just like Freaky. I think she's great in here, is really funny, is kind of evil in some scenes. And I think that she did a great job. I think that she does a great job in movies like this, which you aren't supposed to take too seriously and you know the marvel you know her character marvel it might not be written well but i don't know if she does a great job with that character i think she just does a great job with some crazy characters and lisa saburano i think that's how you say her name as taffy i thought that she was also a great addition to the cast i loved her character she was hilarious she did great and then cole sprouse of course as like the frankenstein and uh, you know kind of monster of the movie i thought he was also great he doesn't really speak in the film until like the final scene so you don't really get to hear him speak but he does have a lot of great you know actions he gets to move a lot in some weird ways gets to speak a lot in weird ways gets to, you know throw up a lot because he is a dead corpse so he does have some funny scenes in here and i really did like his character a lot and i thought that the whole entire cast did well some of the supporting characters did really well but there's not too many you know, not too many people in this cast it's mostly you know the cole sprouse and Catherine newton kind of movie and i thought they did they did great they had great, great chemistry and they can't even really talk to each other in the movie so it's kind of hard for them but you know just the movements they're having together just everything that it was just a lot of fun for them to probably make this movie i saw a lot of interviews with them looked like they were having fun in the interviews so i thought that you know i thought it you know showed on screen with their chemistry you know cole sprouse we haven't really seen him in a lot of movies the last big movie he was in was five feet apart thought he was great in that but he's finally done with riverdale so now he can do more movies and i think that this is a great start for him to get back into the movie business kind of a smaller movie but you know smaller movies aren't bad i think that this one could do a decent 
decently well at the box office depending how many people go and see it i do recommend it a lot so overall lisa frankenstein surprised me a lot it, it, it kind of reminded me of edward scissorhands the costume design set design are really good it's a very funny film heartfelt at times Catherine newton and colt sprouse have a lot of chemistry they're both really great so i'm gonna give lisa frankenstein a 7 out of 10 pretty strong rating for me i think it's my second favorite movie of the year that's not really saying a lot but i will say it's a really fun time i think you know a lot of people will find a lot to like about it it's a very good looking film that i think zelda williams did a great job directing it so let me down know down the, below in the comments did you see lisa frankenstein what did you think of it let me know uh, make sure you like this video subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys in the next one peace out